friends welcome back to my channel and uh, today I'm going to talk about the threat hunting uh, with a sample cyber threat hunting activity okay so uh, let's have a look at the example yeah so I'm going to talk about threat hunting uh, activity uh, this is just an example of the uh, very simple activity that can be done by uh, by the L2 uh, and or L3 team or L we just call it as the sub analyst team uh, yeah so we will begin with the hypothesis where the hypothesis is about the adversaries might be using a non-system account to gain and maintain access to the systems or network perform literal movements and exfiltrate data so that's the hypothesis again the hypothesis is about the adversaries that might be using a non-system account to gain and maintain access to the system or network uh, then uh, they might perform literal movement and exfiltrate data uh, eventually yeah so uh this threat hunting is actually based on the uh, micro uh, attack framework the ttps the tactics techniques and procedures where we have found this uh the indications uh related to the ttps used by them uh ta zero 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 six or 006 credential access with the techniques T1212 exploitation for credential access and BT1555 credentials from password stored. And the second uh, tactic is the TA0004 or 0004 privilege escalation with three different techniques which are the uh, T1134 access token manipulation, T1, uh, T1068 uh, exploitation for privilege escalation, and also T1078 valid accounts. So these are the initial uh, information we got. Now, for the... Uh, threat hunting activity we will also need to know uh, what to look for uh, especially if you are using SIM or the SIM yeah, the security information and event management for the example I'll be uh, using the uh, Wazoo yeah which is actually uh, a very simple open source SIM or SIM uh, powered by Kibana and Elasticsearch uh, then uh, back to the uh, threat hunting example what to look for we will need to look for several event uh, events with the IDs like 4720 4722 23 28 32 76 4610 4673 4693 uh, sorry 4696 yeah and also just for the example, we have the credential dumping with Mimikatz with event IDs of 4673, a privileged service was called, and 10, uh, sorry, 1102, the audit log was cleared. Okay, so that's actually the um, uh, event IDs that we will need to look for. Now, if uh, you don't know anything about Mimikatz, just to exp uh, give you a brief or a sh uh, in fact a, a short explanation about Mimikatz. Mimikatz is actually uh, a uh, red team tool uh, used to do a lot of different things related to the local system accounts. Yeah, uh, LSAS service, you can do a lot of different things like um, dumping the credentials, injecting the uh, processes and so on and so forth. Yeah. Okay. So let's uh, let's uh, do an example uh, search based on this one. Okay, are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? Okay, so uh, okay, 
let me start by uh, showing you the examples okay so uh, this is my wazoo uh, for more information about setting up uh, wazoo for your lab environment uh, please go to uh, this website just type wazoo and uh, yeah it's actually wazoo.com yeah you can get uh, wazoo from here and for your information wazoo can do a lot of different things like uh, security analytics intrusion detection lock data analysis file integrity monitoring vulnerability detection configuration assessment incident response regulatory compliance cloud security and also container security um, I'll be giving you uh, some tutorials regarding how to install and set up Wazoo for your lab environment, perhaps in the next video. I'm still uh, looking for some time to spend to, uh, you know, reinstall my Wazoo. So anyway, uh, back to our topic. This is Wazoo. Yeah. So here you can go to the Wazoo module and you can select the security event. Yeah. This is actually showing now and from here you can also select the threat detection response and response where you can select mitra attack and uh, it's gonna take a while yeah oh sorry back to mitra attack so this is my recap of my the summary of my last 30 days uh, events um, compiled uh, based on uh, the um, Mitra uh, TTPs okay and you can go to uh, the framework to see the uh, summary of the tactics and techniques <coughs> uh, it's take a while uh, so perhaps about a few minutes yeah depending on your system uh, by the way, if you want to have uh, you know Wazoo uh, with a very good performance, you need to allocate at least about twelve uh, uh, giga memory. Yeah. So back to the tactics and techniques, we got the uh, recap for our thirty days, last thirty days. Privilege escalation, defense evasion, persistent initial access to lateral movement, and if you click on the privilege escalation, you can also see the uh, techniques. Yeah. So let's say, let's uh, have a look at the create account. And it will actually drill down to show you the recent events. Yeah. You can see the uh, techniques used uh, T1098, T1136, T1531. Yeah. So you can see the summary of each and every single tactic as well as the technique. So in this example, create account has about five uh, items there or five alerts. Okay. Now for the threat hunting, you have to go to the, um, yeah, click the, um, the menu. <clears throat> uh, they just call it as what uh, I forgot the name. Uh, this is actually like, um, burger menu <laughs> burger menu okay go to discover and this is just an example of uh, yeah where we can actually find something like uh, you know system event ID 4673 which is actually related to uh, a privileged service was called and I also add the data win event data process name public mimicats this is actually to detect any possible use of mimicats in your system yeah so i found some mimicats yeah see this one process name is mimicats and you can go down to the data win system message a privileged service was called and it's true it's actually mimicats being used the uh, folder or directory is c public mimicats trunk win32 mimicats.xe just an example and if you want to find something like uh, the uh, if there's a user, I mean, if the attacker or the adversary was 
able to exploit the system uh, and perhaps create a you know simple user account yeah uh, usual normal user account you can check by looking at the field event um, ID yeah Windows system event ID is usually is um, 4720 so look for 4720 oops sorry okay now if uh, the value exists in your log it will actually tell you something yeah yeah here you can select click ok and then save and if you in a few seconds you will see uh, uh, the logs related to the system event id 4720 okay so hang on for a while you can select refresh <clears throat> and if your system were actually exposed to the attacker and uh, they uh, were able to create something you should be able to find this event in your log Yes, let's see. Okay, we got this. Only three items, three hits. And as you can see here, we found there is a test user is one data win event data sum account test user. And if you go down to the data win system message, we got subject new uh, new account created in a domain called Contoso. Yeah. And if you want to see if this user yeah, the user was created. You can see the event date. Yeah, here. Which is on January 8th. Beside that, once we found that uh, test user, test dash user is created, this account is just a normal account. Yeah. So, uh, Contoso test user uh, primary group ID is 513, which is usually a normal account. Yeah then you have to look for additional uh, event event id this time i'll be um, i'll be trying to find the event id related to the uh let me see perhaps this one the yeah, 4732, which is a member, was added to security enabled local group, or 4728, a member was added to security enabled local group. Yeah. So uh, 4728 and 4732. Let's see. 4728. See if we can get this. Yep, exist. Click save and oops, we don't have this. So just close this and bingo, we got three hits. And notice that there's a user called um, ah yeah here. Uh, a member was added to security enabled global group. Yeah, see this one? The username is task user added to the contosa.com and privilege is domain admin see this one so it looks like that the adversary was able to create a user normal user account and then after that uh, you know escalate the privilege by adding the user as the member of the contoso domain admin and we have to also look for the events four seven this is just to confirm where did this account uh go uh so i will look for four seven three two which is the local admin so they might have to uh hang on for a while let me see 
4728 is, is security global group 4732 is the local group so 32 so usually the adversary uh, or the attacker will be able to gain access through the exploit and then um, you know elevate the privilege or escalate the privilege as the at least starting from the local admin then escalate the privilege again uh, as the domain admin yeah i can find this a member was added to security enabled local group so task user was added as a member of administrators group so this is actually the the start yeah once he uh you know once they were able to add the user they would actually try to elevate the privilege to become the local admin then you know observe the processes and when they found the process or processes they could actually steal the token uh, use that token uh, usually the domain admin uh, token use that token or steal the token use that token to elevate the privilege as the domain admin that's actually the the uh, stages yeah so we confirm we can confirm from our uh exploration uh, or the threat hunting activity here we were able to uh analyze something and to conclude something oh yeah uh one thing i also need to confirm if the adversary was able to delete any log so i will look for event 1102 so same thing so event id 1102 now 1102 should confirm that the attacker or the adversary was able to actually delete the log files not only for one file but multiple files yeah see this one you got the event and uh, the event says the event system message says that the audit log was cleared yeah system but the account name is system wow i'm not sure who but it looks like somebody was able to actually download ops uh delete see this one windows event log clearing audit log this is part of the defense efficient Oh yeah um if you look at the event id of four seven uh let me see four seven thirty two earlier yeah four seven thirty two <clears throat> let's see the mitra tactic or techniques use okay scroll down yeah so this is a role for mitra tactic called defense efficient the technique is group policy modification yeah see this one yeah so we found the uh the uh, ioc or indicators of compromise all right so i believe that's uh the end of my um video so i hope that you can learn something <clears throat> regarding this uh, simple threat hunting activity that could be done by utilizing many different um you know uh, platform yeah what i'm using is actually uh, wazoo which could be installed um separately or you can also use uh you know sim or sim uh sim like uh, environment such as security onion yeah so 
it's very nice yeah so you can use mitra attack and also use that mitra attack framework for your uh, for the base of your threat hunting activity okay um yeah while talking about the mitra um the output of the uh it is actually expected that the output of the threat hunting could actually allow the uh, SOC team or the SOC team to be able to fine tune the rules uh, for their own sim. Yeah. All right. So let me check again. <clears throat> So eventually you can use this mitra, yeah, as you can see here on the right side, you can see top mitra attack and you can drill down to each of the uh, mitra attack techniques and tactics and techniques such as we have valid accounts and so on and so forth. Okay, for a specific agent, you can also explore the agent and then look for, let's say one agent, let's say this one, just an example, you can also drill down to each individual agent which is actually monitored by Wazoo so in order to make your agent being monitored by Wazoo manager you will need to ensure that you have installed your Wazoo uh, agent yeah which is actually based on OSAC which is the uh, open source uh, host IDS all right so you can scroll down and then yeah, you can see the security alerts related to defense evasions and so on and so forth. All right. So that's the end of my presentation. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Bye-bye.